Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to Icarus. It's been a little bit since we played, but uh, during the charity live stream, we got into a, what, a, like a four hour stream of Icarus at the end of the stream. We actually extended the charity stream for an extra hour to play to a total of 13 hours. Uh, we started a new mission. That's uh, This latest mission is giving us uh, access to unlock some new cave worm tools and stuff that we can craft, including this uh, cave worm bow, which I'm gonna assume does more damage than the basic bow. I guess. Uh, I, I, I'm assuming they gotta give it to us because it's gotta be better. So um, we're gonna try and unlock that tonight. We already have the mission in progress. Uh, so we're gonna be going back to the planet to continue that. But welcome everyone who's here in the chat so far. Or if you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. As always, a big thanks to everyone who's clicked on that join button to become a channel member. I do appreciate the support. And special thanks to all of our top tier Mistakes Were Made members that were highlighted right at the start of the stream. Uh, I don't think we died much last time. I don't exactly remember. It's all kind of a haze for me because uh, I was getting kind of tired by the end of the stream. Um, but I do know we got a base set up. Uh, we were working on upgrading some of our crafting benches and things so we can make some of the higher tier items. Uh, and then once we get those things made, we have to go like, go, like really a long distance to go and find like the point we have to search. So see what happens over there anyway. And I don't know. Hopefully we'll get this, this stuff knocked out. I don't know if we'll tackle the entire thing tonight because I have no idea how long it's going to take us to get there uh, or what kind of stuff we'll need to build out. But uh, yeah, this is our humble abode for now. Not that big, but hopefully it's, it'll be big enough. Didn't die. Oh, so disappointed. I, I I didn't get eaten by bears or anything. That seems surprising. Yeah, incidentally, if you missed the, the charity stream and you'd still like to help support Covenant House... The link that they provided for the, the charity drive is actually available uh, and active right through the end of April. I still have it in the description of the, the stream, so if you'd like to make a donation to support them, you can do so there. Uh, if you did happen to miss the stream and uh, and wanted to help support still. Um, so I know uh, we refined some gold, we got some platinum we refined, we got uh, aluminum ingots. I have the platinum pickaxe ready down here. Uh, we got ourselves a fancy iron axe, a little bit of food. I got the stone furnaces ready, but because I think we were headed out to find another cave uh, in order to, to gather up some more iron for the purposes of making steel bloom, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we have gold ore in here still. And then in here in the concrete furnace, of course, we have... Uh, <laughs> still this weird bug going on. When I open the furnace, it like puts me in this black screen. Uh, we're crafting steel ingots in here now. We've got like 24 of them. But then we've also got like some gold and some other stuff in here too. Don't forget, you also I did end up playing Getting Over With uh, due to meeting 10,000. That's right, I did. And we did play Getting Over With uh, Bennett Foddy. I'll never get over it. But we did it. We played it. Then we uninstalled it. And now it's definitely gone from my computer permanent like. Uh, so here's the worm scale that we'll actually get to craft the new stuff with. And then I guess, I don't know, the poison sacks we get from them too are useful for something? I don't know to see. They've been doing like a few updates and stuff of the game still too. There's like scorpions they've added to the desert, which we haven't seen of course because uh, we're in the Riverlands right now, not so much the desert. Start off with a little bit of innocent death and dismemberment because uh, what stream would be complete without it? Amy goodness. Yo, it's cool. How's it going? Alright, we'll get this guy all choppy chopped because that's uh... Hit the wrong button. Keep hitting E instead of F. Ooh, we're gonna get some game meat out of this thing. Got stringy meat in here. We've got uh, raw meat in here. What's with the bone arrows? They've got like this weird shield kind of image on them now. That's new. That's a change. Plus 10 crit damage plus 20% break chance. Check out break chance, huh? Interesting. Have to figure that jizz business out, I guess. Uh, all those can stay in here. I don't really have any. I could put some wood in here. Get that stuff cooked up. Remember, karma comes around, the death will find you. Well, tsh, man, we've killed so many innocent creatures in this game that if karma ever comes looking, we're already dead a thousand times over. It's fine, though. Also, our armor's not going to deteriorate. Yeah, which kind of, uh... Makes me not so thrilled about the nano armor that I bought, because this stuff's great, but if it's gonna break down before the mission's even over, then that means I still have to I still have to craft other armor. Um, which seems less than ideal to me. We're on a meditarian diet. We got uh, bacon, game meat, and then stringy meat. Oh wait. Oh, I forgot. 
I need to get the other kind of meat. I forgot, but the game meat and the stringy meat, they have they give the same buff, so they're interchangeable. You know, actually cooked meat. Consume some of that. Give us all kinds of health benefits and stuff. Alright. That'll do, I guess. Uh, okay, so I should probably pull up the map thing, actually, while I'm thinking about it. Grabbing the cave map so I can remember where the caves are in the immediate area here. Uh, so we're currently located here in F4. The mission objective is like way down here in L8, or L11 rather. That's a pretty long distance to travel and I'm sure we're gonna have to go through a couple biomes. I know there's a cold biome in here in particular, which I assume we're gonna have to pass through to get down there. Uh, so hopefully the, uh, the nano armor we have is sufficient to keep us warm and stuff, but we'll have to pack like some uh, some other supplies and things. So we're in, uh, sorry, what was that, F4 I'm in? Yeah, I'm in F4 right now. Or, Okay, so there's a cave over here that we already tackled. There's a cave over here that we took care of. I think the next one we're gonna go to is uh, down over here somewhere. Cave like right down here. I might have even hit that one up already too. We'll find out. This way. Got back here. E5 has a good cave. Uh, yeah, it's like right down here. In this little corner down here. So I'll hit the one that's on the island here. Well, island, peninsula, whatever it is. I'll hit this one down here first. It's only a, a level 1 cave. This one's a level 2 down here. Guess we'll see what we got. Need to go visit Bear Country. We're kind of already in Bear Country. We're in the Riverlands, um, so... Theoretically, the bears should be about. They might even be out and about in a boat. Turn on my torch before I use it up. Hey, 40%, how you doing? So I don't know exactly what we have to do to accomplish this mission. It just says locate, uh, locate and activate the sample analyzer and then travel to the, well, I guess we gotta go travel to the map location first to find it, but. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, that's interesting. I got hurt and put my bow away, like automatically. Found the cave, that was easy. Hello? There's a monster right there. Thank my arrow. Oh, my arrow bag, man. Oh. Only a single worm cave. There's like quite a bit of iron in here, too. This is good. Okay. Uh, I brought the spelters. I don't even know why I did, actually, now that I think about it. I probably could have just gone straight to... Uh, to bring it back to well not that far I could just carry the ore I guess we'll, we'll put these down here anyway I don't necessarily need to make these into uh into ingots to bring them back prep them up though might have might have some utility okay stock it up on iron I have to fight the bears for this mission. Bears? I don't want to play with no bears. Kind of makes me wonder whether I should just um, just go with my upgraded bow that I have, or if we should bother to make a rifle. I feel like the we, we might want to get to the point of making a rifle, but it's such a pain getting the, uh, getting the hunting rifle, because it's got to build all that tier four stuff. It's gonna take a lot of copper, a bunch of gold. If we get the copper. Yeah, see, you copper, you're never gonna be alive, see? So I'm see a mission concealment recovery where you need special meats from grizzly bears to polar bears to complete. They got rid of them, most of the forest bear spawns. Oh, really? 
That sucks. Yeah, don't let the coppers get yeah. Nice to can change the game timers countdown only when you're in the game. Yeah, although they might have to kind of like rebalance them. Because you, I, I'm pretty sure I don't need full, like a full seven days of gameplay to complete one mission anymore. That made sense when when you had to like rush back to the game. Not so much now, I don't think. All right, uh, I'll get the uh, the iron smelting, I guess. Let's see, ions. This stuff can sit in here, I guess. Although the copper, if I put it in there, it'll start smelting, so we'll leave that. So they would modify over time. Yeah, I'm sure they need to figure out what the new balance looks like, you know? Like, what's a, what's a reasonable time frame to give you that is that's comparable, you know, relative to how people play the game? I'm sure they must have data around how much time people spend on the missions, though. Surely. Yeah, I'm gonna make some flint arrows, so we'll, we'll keep some as the uh, the ore as well. I don't remember how much titanium I need. I know I need some, I just don't remember how much. <laughs> Mr. Data from the next generation. Find two exotic veins in the desert in this mission, you'll need a lot of extra time. Yeah, I believe it. More titanium. Platinum on it. Probably don't need more platinum. Copper will definitely need because we're gonna need to make some computer chips if we're gonna get to tier four stuff. <laughs> All right, more copper. Any plans to meet up with Nate in Florida when you're down there? Well, unfortunately not. Uh, our plans have had to change. Uh, which really sucks, let me tell you. So we were originally planning to be away from like the 24th of April until like May 2nd. Um, but in order, but we're flying out of Toronto in, into Orlando, and in order to fly into the U.S., you have to pass a, a COVID test the day before you get on the plane. Um, if you had COVID, then you need a test that's more than 10 days before you travel that shows that you're positive uh, with an, a letter from your doctor saying that you're cleared to travel. Well, it would have been all fine for me because I got COVID early enough, but now my daughter's tested positive for COVID and my wife has symptoms. So we actually had to push back our trip. So it's going to be more like uh, May 10th when we leave now instead of like April 24th. <clears throat> so we have to shove it back a few weeks, unfortunately. So that'll be a, that'll be a non-starter, unfortunately, because Nate will be down there ahead of me now. Tis less than ideal, shall we say. Um, where'd all the copper go? Iron, iron, iron. Seriously, where did all the copper go I just dug up? Oh, okay, that's the copper there. Oops. Ah! I thought that was the titanium for some reason when it was sitting in here. That's all right. Got that. Yeah, yeah. If you could find me in Orlando on May 10th, <laughs> I'll give you a cookie. Oh, I missed the super chat. Hold on. 
Uh, Crestrum Anonymous with a super chat. Fox, glad I caught you live, playing one of my favorites, no less. Keep up the quality content, my friend. Always a pleasure. Well, thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate the support. Glad you enjoy the, uh, enjoy the channel and the content and everything. It's been really content light lately. I'm sorry, everyone. This past week, I've I streamed, what, twice? <laughs> it's, uh, not been a, not been a highly productive week for me. Need to vent getting over it, perhaps? Yeah, I'm getting over it. I'll get over you, right in the nose. Yeah, no, uh, no getting over it. Don't need no getting over it. Don't need it. Not appropriate. <laughs> Mining the efficient way. This is how the real professional miners do it. Got it all. See that? Skill. I don't know if that's actually an opening or just a weird, uh, weird glitch in the, the train. Yeah. No, Fox, this is all your fault because you gave COVID to your wife and kids. Yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much how that went down. Almost exactly. We took the kids to uh, to the aquarium in Toronto, and it was pretty crowded, and I, I'm pretty sure I got it there. The, the other three of them were fine, and apparently I picked it up. But then, not wanting to be the selfish type, I very generously shared. So far, my oldest daughter doesn't have any symptoms, and she seems fine. But she's living in the same household, so... I'm not exactly holding my breath. I think I'm gonna let these things go for a bit. We'll come back. We'll take, uh... We'll take what we can with us back to our little base over there. Some of it's melting there, too, if we need to. Reminds me, where's my base? I'm gonna put like a permanent marker on this thing. Like have multiple markers. Like one for the, like the destination I want to go to, but like have have something I could set. I guess I could create a beacon and put it at my home and that would work. This my grandfather always says caring is sharing. Ah! What? Where's my boat? That's weird. Makes my bow disappear. But it wasn't really gone, it was just like... Pretending. Oh, I got pneumonia and I... <laughs> Doom this to get rid of the pneumonia at least. Uh, I don't have any fiber. Well, I got a little bit of fiber, but it's, it's not enough to make a bandage. That's better. <laughs> Release the rage. <laughs> Happy Easter! Yeah, the Easter Bunny comes tonight. Bringing with him thousands of reasons why I'm not gonna lose weight. <laughs> Sugar. Okay, back in our humble little abode. Need, uh, I wonder if we got probably some more room for crafting. I've got, I've got a little bit more room on the top here. I can probably put some crafting benches or whatever up there. Uh, this stuff has been smelting away nicely. We need to uh, throw some titanium in there. A little platinum in there. Iron ore, I guess I'll keep and we'll just stick in the bench. We can make arrows out of that. All 45 of them. What am I what am I missing there? Oh, it looks like leather. We've got leather. Oh, I'm hiding over here. You can make more of those fancy arrows. So the Easter bunny are visited by the Keister bunny? Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> Uh, 
There's a new bug. If you take any damage, whatever you're holding will glitch out and not be held or whatever. It seemed like I still had it because I was able to fire arrows, but it it just makes it like visually disappear. Like you put it down kind of thing. It's kind of a little off-putting, but uh, you know, not that bad, I guess. Uh, let's make a bunch more steel bloom. Get that going. We'll swap out our fancy uh, bone arrows. I still would like to know what that... What that red shield effect is on there. Wait a minute. The bone arrow says a primitive arrow dealing greater damage than flint or stone. The flint arrow clearly does more damage. It does 63 to 70. Kind of weird. A little strange. Tomorrow's your birthday. Well, happy early birthday, Mark. Did my armor take any damage? Uh, I'll have to check. Good question. Mm, doesn't look like it. Oh, I guess it did a little bit. I'm at 9,708 out of 10,000, so it's pretty strong armor. Got a good amount of durability to it, but actually everything's at 9780. Oh, no. Everything's at 9708 except the backpack, which appears to be degrading a tiny bit also. Uh, I wonder if there's a way to repair this. Or if it's only repairable when you go back to a state and go back to the station or something. Kinda suck. Not a big fan of that. Not at all. Gave things new overlay displays, either uh, anything broken as a cracked shield over it. Oh, okay, so that make, that makes sense, except that why would my arrows have a crack shield over it? They're arrows. It's got to be just a weird bug. Super weird bug. Whatever, it's fine, I guess. Not that big a deal. Does they bleed? It's turned 41, but if you add the required military time to it, that makes me 51. Military aging you a little, uh, a little ahead of time. Eating the process up a bit for you. Okay. What do I want to make next? So we've got a bow. I guess we're going to want to make the uh, tier 4 bench. The fabricator. Fabricator? I think it's the fabricator we want. So we're going to need more aluminum, which we have. We'll need a bunch of electronics. Uh, there's the aluminum. Got all kinds of aluminum, actually. Got aluminum to spare. Electronics, we need more concrete mix, which means I'm going to have to get my hands on some more... Um, more of that stuff. You know the stuff. That stuff. With the things. <laughs> What's it called? This stuff here. Silica. God. Man. Brain no worky. Um. Well, actually, we got... I think 14, anyway. Getting started, anyway. <laughs> Not leather. Silica. I'm thinking silica. Don't the scale arrows have poison damage? I think they do, yeah. But I haven't, uh, I haven't gotten to the point of uh, getting those yet. They cause bleed damage, maybe? Maybe. Or maybe it, like, damages armor or something? Reduces target's armor or something? I don't know. It's fine. We probably will never know. <laughs> Unless we actually, like, read patch notes or something. But god, who reads around here? Oh, shoot. I gotta make carbon fiber. I make the carbon fiber again. We gotta get some carbon paste to make the carbon fiber. Carbon paste is made in here. With a bunch of stuff. More silica. Oh, good times. Well, we can make a bunch of this anyway. Gotta make some organic resin that's oxide and wood. So we have a bunch of things we're gonna need. Uh, more aluminum. How many do I need? Only eight. We're making copies, yeah. Copies. 
All right, so I guess we got to get our hands on a bunch of silica because that seems to be the order of the day. Uh, what time is it? 19. Are they sure? It seems awfully dark. Oh, that's my mission timer. Never mind. <laughs> I read that wrong. We'll have ourselves a little sleep and make it daytime again. Beauty. Oh yeah, I did see some silica out in front of that cave that we were just at. Um, so I think I'm gonna go there because it seems like an easy place to get it. And then we can also grab some of the other supplies we left behind. I'm probably gonna want to munch on this some of this stuff. Get all my buffs back. Military age of the body at least 10 years. I could see that. But at least they keep you in physical shape. You know, unless unless you're riding a desk a lot, I guess. There's always PT duty. Uh, I can't remember if I'm going to need more sulfur or not. I have a feeling I am, but I don't know what for. Can I describe what jasmine smells like? You mean like jasmine the flower? Like jasmine rice kind of thing? Or... Uh... Does that go with... No, not not really. It got... I don't know, almost like a floral fruity kind of scent to it. Always need sulfur. Needs more nade on fire. <laughs> Nate was going so hardcore into uh, Project Zomboid, I don't, think, I don't think he was super interested in the grinding involved in uh, Bruce too much lately. Press up in the super chat, when are you going to build an outpost? I can't wait to see what kind of ridiculous designs are rattling around the skull of yours. Uh, you know, that's a good question. I, I keep saying I'm, I should do one of those eventually, but I've kind of been focused on like doing missions and things. Particularly since they keep adding missions to the game. So I guess the uh, short answer is I'm not sure. I don't even know what's rattling around in this brain of mine. Found me live! Oh my god, I'm so glad you found me live instead of dead, because... Woo, that would have been awkward. But welcome. Alright. So this stuff should be... Eh, it's mostly smelted. Grab all this. I got a little, a little bit more carry room. Oh man, I got lots of carry room still. And 183 kilograms of stuff we can carry around now. Um, I guess I should grab. Well, we'll grab more sulfur while we're here. I guess. Let's see some more silica across the water, but I don't really want to go across for that. Just like Abu. <laughs> What does Jasmine the person smell like? Might smell like Raja. Hanging around hugging that tiger all the time. We call this all of her fart rocks. <laughs> they are fart rocks. She's not Asian? I didn't say she was Asian. I said she was hanging around with the tiger all the time. Raja the tiger. Her pet tiger, man. Don't you know you're Disney? I am ashamed, sir. I need this stuff for uh, making that resin junk. Yeah, I can't even see what I'm chopping here. The plants all the way. Too much salad. Having cute bear withdrawals. Can you find some, please? Um, no. No bears. We don't like bears. Bears are not friends. Sure, we'll find some. Apparently, the area we have to go to to do the mission is actually, uh... 
Got a lot of furry friends hanging around. Alright. Oh, I need wood too, actually. I think this tree's just laying here. Travis with the Super Chat. There been an update for Wrath, so you and A can team up and make insane things. What's your plans for Florida? Uh, our plans for Florida got pushed back a bit, unfortunately. We're we're now traveling like May 10th. Uh, we're going to take a couple days and go to Disney. Probably go to the beach one day. For the most part, it's just an opportunity to unwind and relax a little bit. Kind of been burning the candle at both ends for the last couple of years. Even though we're... And then, like, just being at home all the time has been a little stifling that way. Nothing to do but work and... Duff. Need the bare necessities. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I don't know. We don't really have, like, uh, really solid plans for exactly what we're doing. Just, um, more or less trying to chillax a bit. Oxy. No deaths yet. Deaths. Is it Barrow Beach? Well, we we're thinking of, um, I don't, I don't remember the name of the beach. We we're thinking of going to a beach on the Gulf side. The last time we went to Florida... The first time? Maybe it was the first time we went. We've been like twice before. Um, my wife had never seen the ocean before, so we went to a beast. Uh, a, a beast. We went to a beach on on the coast so she could see the ocean, but it just kind of looked like the lake. <laughs> so uh, I was like, "Oh, that's really anticlimactic. It's just sort of like gray water. That's uh, that's awesome." There's the, there's the ocean, honey. It's really big, I swear. <laughs> uh, so we're thinking we'd like to go to the Gulf side where we can get like the turquoise waters and the white sand and that kind of stuff. Maybe spend a day at the beach. Um, but for the most part, it's just going to be re like a relaxing trip. We don't want to have like a, a ton of things on the go. We want to just have the opportunity to unwind a bit. We all kind of need it. Uh, more of this. Need more cement. Ah, my torch burned out. Um, okay, I should actually have... I don't... No. Yeah, I should have enough stuff to make another torch, but... Didn't entirely, but now I do. Ocean sure doesn't taste like a lake. No, this is true. This is true. Uh, I don't remember which, which beach we went to. Might have been... Was it Cocoa Beach? I don't remember... Bahamas have beautiful beaches and clear water. I really want to go to the Bahamas, but it's really, really expensive. Really expensive. We were thinking about, like, uh, we looked at a bunch of different options. We were like, ah, you know, what if we go to, like, Cuba or something where it's reasonably cheap? And being Canadian, of course, we can travel there where you can't from the U.S. Um, we looked at, uh, you know, Mexico and Jamaica and all those places. And in the end, we were like, ah, eh, you know what? And we gotta get, like, injections before we go. More of a hassle. So we just ended up just deciding on Florida. Bahamas Charity Stream. Yes, that'd be the way to go. Bit of Bermuda was off-season and a hurricane came through last night. We were there. Oh, wow. that's lights. I, I, I went to Bermuda when I was a teenager. I was in uh, Air Cadets and we had an exchange trip to Bermuda. Uh, with the Bermuda Regiment. That was kind of cool. To me, all the military stuff over there wasn't necessarily awesome, because... You know, it was really hot out, and we had to do drill and stuff, which sucked. Damn, just enough. We end up going after June 1st, the hurricane insurance, because the season starts June 1st. Yeah, no, we're going, like, May 10th. Check the SpaceX launch schedule when you're going to be in Florida. Maybe you can watch one? I'm not sure how far away that is, or how much interest the kids would have in it. They launch- where did they launch it? Of Cape Canaveral? Uh... Oh, it's only like 40 miles, 48 miles away, or 50 miles away. If it's Cape Canaveral they launch from. I'd love to see a uh, SpaceX launch. It'd be awesome. Although, I, although honestly, the most important, the most impressive part of the SpaceX launches is the landing when they bring the, uh... Oh, wait a minute. 
Uh, when they bring the booster back and uh, land it back on the drone vessels or whatever, that's the part that's really cool. Uh, what is smelting right now? That's platinum. My rocket launches are funnier to watch. Well, they go a little sideways. You wouldn't really want to do that in real life, I don't think. <laughs> it's right beside Cocoa Beach. Oh, is it? Oh, cool. Could look it up. I wonder if uh, I wonder if the family would have any interest at all. Melty smelty. Uh, oh, I gotta get a whole bunch of electronics too. Got the cement we need. Out of them cements. I should make a biofuel composter at some point too. Uh, okay, electronics are the ones that are the, like the colossal pain in my backside. Questions I need 30 of them. I have more gold in here at least. Okay, we need more of this uh, fancy resiny stuff. There we go. Oh, I also need lots of epoxy. Oh, an epoxy. 17. Not gonna get me very far. Well, I'm gonna bust out the sulfur. We need that for epoxy. I, I knew I needed sulfur for something. Didn't think what. Now I know. That makes half the battle. What are the Everglades? No, we're just gonna hang out in around the Orlando area. I'm gonna really get eaten by a crocodile. I feel like that would put a damper on my vacation. Sound nasally? You got COVID? Yeah, I might be a little nasally still. And yes, I did get COVID. I'm on the upswing now. I've uh, it was it was more of a pain in my butt last week, but I'm getting better now. Still have a cough and stuff. Um, Although I'm not entirely sure how much of my cough is a function of my allergies, because this is allergy season for me also, and during allergy season I get this uh, this chronic cough. Which I, don't know, I have to take a I have to take inhalers and stuff. It's great. Bit of a uh, bit of the asthmas. Check out Sanford Zoo. Fortunately, yeah, Florida doesn't need bears. They got gators. They've got scaly bears. <laughs> They're much smaller and tailier. Definitely looking to deworming. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> it's COVID long haulers syndrome. It, it could be. It might be. I mean, but I've only, like I said, I'm, I'm improving, and I, I was sick last week, so it's pretty close to when I was ill. So we'll see how it hangs out, but. But like I said, every year during allergy season, because of my uh, my bit of asthma, I, I get this chronic cough. So it could just be a function of that. Some of it, anyway. Likely not all of it, but... That in the air. Did silica for something else. What else do we need the silica for? I don't remember. Anti-venom works for miracles. Ant venom? You've been taking ant venoms? Look up on Remedy, it's terminal. You're gonna die. I better give me yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, no. Not the terminal chronic copness. So Blackberry's not too far from Orlando, also mountain lions and coyotes. So yeah, this is all all the good stuff down there to eat us up. Awesome. Well, and I are going to Minnesota in July. We're going to hit the Mall of Americas, and we're going to the Valley Fair. I've never been there, so it's going to be a great experience for me. Oh, that's awesome. I have to... My niece is getting married this summer. Um, so I'm flying out to Edmonton uh, for her wedding. They have the uh, Edmund, West Edmonton Mall there, which is kind of like the Mall of America. But it's a little bit smaller, but uh, same, same idea. It's like a destination mall as opposed to just your standard kind of shopping mall. X that. X this. Well, four. Whew. Pulling on all the stops. Yeah, West Edmonton Mall is the largest mall in Canada. 
Like, it's kind of like, uh, it is like Mall of America's, it's just not as big. But they've got like a water park in there, and the movie theaters, and recreation of the Santa Maria, and other stuff. Ice skating rink in one of the hallways. Roller coaster, theme park kind of thing in there. In July, I go to Missouri. This time, I'm taking our five year old grandson with us. Should be a blast. That's awesome. Watch over the sea bears in the Florida waters. Man, my wife was so. When we went before, she was super worried about sharks the whole time. So we didn't really, uh. Weren't really in the water a whole lot. <laughs> I need more copper. I need more copper. Copper. I think we gotta go back to the cave and see if there's any more. No bear sightings yet tonight. Hi, still snow. Um, yeah, no bear sightings so far tonight. We're we're on the we're on the safe side from a bear perspective. Don't even have the bear necessities right now. Let's leave all this here. All that can stay. I gotta go smack some sulfur. I knew I needed it. I should have just grabbed it when I saw it. Anyway, I know there's some like over this. Okay. Oh, and I'll go back to that cave and see if there's any more copper in there too. Any wolf spiders? No, fortunately not. Which reminds me, we got to place more grounded this week too. Uh, I need to take a little of the time before I stream next though to uh, gather up some materials so that uh, I have a little bit to start building with. The uh, stems in particular take a lot of work to gather. Dust in Florida have dragons. Dark nothing. Barracuda is something you need to be careful of. Well, you know, it, yeah. I would say probably my greatest fear in life is being eaten alive by something. Like, not not my greatest fear, but I guess like my what I envision being the worst way to go, being eaten alive by something. <laughs> so I'm uh. Not super in a rush to do that. When I was in Bermuda as a teenager, we uh, we went swimming in the ocean every day. And uh, there was this rock that was right up near the surface. I don't know, maybe 25 yards out from shore. So we would swim out to that every day and kind of swim around it. And one day we decided to dive down and see how deep down we could go towards the bottom of this rock. And it split open into this, like, crevice. And you can see right through the other side, because it wasn't it wasn't that huge. It was like, I don't know, room sized. And swim like just floating in the water right inside there was a barracuda. Just about pooped ourselves. <laughs> We're like, well, let's not do that again. Uh where am I going? I got a little little off course here when I was yammering away. Most dangerous wildlife in Florida. Tourists, yeah. Oh, that's... Oh, he's got something weird going on with his butt. Yeah. dum da dum da dum da dum da dum da dum da Okay. Cave again. Oh. Overshot. Ulfer. Did a recording for schedule some release. That's the idea. Yeah, I was actually recording uh, something a little before the stream tonight. Uh, I gotta try to. I need. Yeah, I gotta try to find time to, to record a, a variety of things. I'd like to have something that goes live while I'm uh, while I'm away. Um, but I'm not going away now until uh, till like May 10th. So I've got time. It's not not as much of a rush. Oh, there is no more copper in here. Okay, so this is not gonna help. We gotta go get that other cave. The other cave was in G5. It's like down here, I think. Somewhere like right in this little rock face down here. We'll hit that one up. Get our hands on some more copper. 
Yeah, see? Ah! Alright, make it another. <laughs> Secret Vox, there are deep mines all around now, so build a miner and biofuel compost first. Yeah, I heard there was. Uh, I'm stuck. The heck? Yeah, move. There we go. I heard they had added, like, deep ores and stuff now, so we can, like. There's, like, a scanner we can build or something that lets us find some of those deep mining nodes. Instead of just being in caves now. Kind of neat. It's nice knowing the, what the, the cave ones are, though, so that you can still... If they're, like, a really easy place to get resources. In the back of the noggin. So I'll have to try out the new, uh... New scanning and drilling stuff. Uh, I can get a little more of this. Okay, I got too much. <laughs> Darn it. What year was Barracuda? Did it uh, still have its plates? Ha! Uh, not that kind of Barracuda. The fishy kind. Mining nodes are still really slow. For the, uh, like for the, the, the automated one, you mean? Like the drill or whatever? Just misread sulfur and still snow. Oh, as still snow. That's quite the misread. Okay, we need to help still, still snow out. We can't have these kind of confusions. From now on, everyone just refer to them as fart rocks. I mined up some fart rock. Kind of Barracuda was in the song they were singing about. It's, yeah, most likely about the car. Dense, I guess. Smashy, smashy. What a really enchanting vacation. You should go to Australia during spider season. Uh, you know, the shame about Australia is that I actually really would like to see Australia. But I really don't like spiders. Or basically any other insect that's willing or interested in eating me. <laughs> I know people live there and they deal with it all the time and so therefore to a certain degree it must not be that much of a deal but in my ignorance I'm probably never going to end up going. <laughs> ah. Let's get a jump on me. Oh, there's still one of... There you are. Ow, you jerk! You poisoned me! What is going on? Oh, you know what? I still had bone arrows, I think, selected, and I didn't have any on me. That's better. Much better. Oop, something. Travis and Super Chat, go on vacation, enjoy yourself. Don't worry about us, we'll be here when you get back. You deserve it. Enjoy time with your family. I appreciate that, Travis, but there is a... There's quite a negative effect when, uh, when I'm not live. It really cuts into things. So even just like this last week where I really wasn't streaming a lot, yeah, in the last week I only streamed what twice. It has a it has a long term impact because uh, you don't get I don't get the normal kind of game time views and stuff I would get in between streams, or the spike from the stream itself. So I don't like to uh, I don't like to miss too much because it's uh, things. Now I won't ha I won't be able to have enough time to record enough content that I can. Like, have something every day, necessarily, while I'm away, but uh, at least if I could have, like, a couple videos go live while I'm away, then that would sort of offset that. 
Still Snow with the super chat. Don't worry, I will always be here. Aw, oh, thanks, Still Snow. Arigato gozaimasu. Die, you wormy worms. The gold node there. That's fancy. We're rich, baby. We found a gold node. Like a bad smell the Olympic get rid of. <laughs> so basically, uh, like shrimp paste is what you're saying. Look at that mushroom bath, and I'll be here. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, you guys are all great. I love the support and everything. You guys are always, like, here. there's so many of you that are here with such consistency. But, if there's not a live stream here, then it's hard to be here. There's, there's no stream. So that's where some uploaded stuff comes in handy. I actually got concerned when you had the stream for like seven days with checking uh, your YouTube every day. Yeah, I had I had COVID and I I, I made a I left a post on my uh, my community tab, but I wasn't I didn't really go into a lot of detail about my plans because I, I had no idea what it was going to be like. Uh, mostly it was just tiring. I had a pretty mild case. It was like cold symptoms or whatever, congestion, coughing. But just like super duper tired. Remote live stream from your hotel. I mean, I, I actually contemplated doing that at some point. Um, obviously, there won't be any gameplay involved because I won't have a gaming system or anything with me. Like one of those uh, just chatting streams or something. I'm sure your family wouldn't mind if you streamed every night while you're on vacation. Yeah, like I'm already gonna have to work a couple days while I'm on vacation, so... Can't really cut into the whole vacation thing too much. That's a recipe for divorce. Well, Kappa, yeah, I forgot I was carrying the stone. I got rid of it. Uh, there's more copper. Come to the state, Cryptic Fox. We'll claim you as our own and won't let you return to the Great White North. <laughs> the funny thing is, with my job, I could live pretty much anywhere. Because I, I work remote now. So, theoretically, I could, like, work in the Bahamas, even. Although, I don't know how good the internet is there. We have this thing we do at work where we have to like, um, we have to fill out talent profiles. Where it's like, what you're focusing on for the next year, like highlighting some of your skills and whatever. But part of it is also like, whether you would allow the company to relocate you, because the company I work for has, uh, offices globally. They actually have a major office in Australia, Singapore, uh, some places in the UK, a couple of places in the States, that sort of thing. We had to fill out like, would we be willing to relocate? Etc. Etc. Well, it would be cool. I, I I wouldn't want to uproot the kids while they're like doing school and stuff. Not to mention, I just like Canada and the healthcare that comes with it. <laughs> Box in space. Just copy Markiplier's video, but I'll just like I'll, I'll like deep fake his his video with my face or something, or with a, or with a fox face, and we'll call it Fox in Space. <laughs> it's the maple syrup. That's right. It's the maple syrup. <laughs> Very 
Nothing that we see. We got the platinum we need for composites. Do I? Uh, and I'm not even sure if I'm gonna make composites or not. But it's so painful building anything tier four in this game. It just it takes so much, and you get to use it for such a short amount of time. It just feels like such a waste. And unless it's mission critical, it just it just feels like a waste of time. Okay, that's hilarious. Some Canadian never go to the hospital, but uh, fuel I use every day. Americans have it easy. <laughs> I think it's a function of age. When I was younger, I never went to the doctor ever for the hospital. You know, unless I was, unless I was on my, felt like I was on my deathbed, I didn't even visit the doctor. Now, you know, having a family, kids bring home germs from school all the time. I feel like somebody's always sick. Maybe when the kids are growing up, it'll be less of a frequent thing, but, like, I'm constantly paying for, like, prescriptions and eyeglasses and what have you. Dental care, all that kind of stuff. Mind you, none of that's, uh, <laughs> none of that's covered by, uh, the health system anyway. Those are just work benefits to cover that stuff, but... But, yeah, like, before I got married, I, I would say... You know, I've been to a doctor a handful of times. <laughs> After I got married, I swear, it's like... ten times as many. <laughs> Stuck with the girls till they're 30. How much does your medical cost in Canada? Uh, not much of anything. Uh, I have, uh... I have a benefits package at work that covers, like... Uh, like, 80% of dental. Like, a couple hundred dollars worth of glasses. For each person in my family. So it's just, you know, like, when I get a prescription filled, it costs me $10 for the dispensing costs. When we go to the doctor, it, co it costs nothing. But yeah, my benefits cover massages, too, so I, I have, like, I think I have $500 worth of massage benefits each year that I'm terrible about using. I just started using them this year for, like, the first time in the last four years. No, but those are, like, uh, those aren't part of, uh, like, the national health care or anything. That's just, uh... That's again, like, benefits coverage through work. Pay zero for prescriptions? Yeah. Wish you see your benefits massage. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's a variety of stuff that I, I don't use in my benefits that I probably should, but I'm terrible about anything that requires me to schedule something. Like, if I have to, if I have to make an appointment, like, I'm just well aware of my limitations and I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna do it consistently. I think it comes from being a chronic procrastinator, but I'm not certain. Alright, rain stop. Let's go. Oh, sorry. Maybe I should get my arrow back. Nope. Oh, the boar's over there. I'll leave him. Let's go to China. Yeah. Nope, Chinese massage parlors are not covered. I mean, not the kind you're thinking of, anyway. Generally speaking, the uh, the nationality of the people providing the massage is not relevant. Uh, except in that one particular instance. That's a bit of a different story. Yeah, Medicare, it's $160 per month and it pays 80% of approved things. Yeah, the only thing that I pay for for my benefits package at work is uh, my premium for long care, long term disability. So that if I have, ever have to claim it, it's tax free when they pay it out. If the company pays it, then, uh, then it becomes a taxable benefit. Um, but otherwise, I mean, I pay like $10 for prescriptions when I, when I get a prescription. Doctor's visits and all that kind of stuff don't cost anything. I mean, not directly. It, it gets paid for through taxes, so it is it is costing me. Just not, like, direct per use kind of thing. Uh, Alright, I got lots of sulfur now. Take all that in there. Uh, I got a good chunk of copper also. Got a room in here. Okay, so... Probably need a little bit more organic resin, and then we definitely need more of epoxy. Uh, uh, did I have more? Yeah, we got sap in here. Bunch of epoxy. 
Well, they have to pay five hundred dollars a month for family coverage, uh, and have to be the three K deductible before insurance covers anything. There are a lot of people who have it worse. Yikes. Yeah, I know. In the, in the whole system in the U.S. is tends to be a lot more expensive, I guess. Well, I, I mean, it's hard. I guess it's hard to quantify. One of the things with the system in the U.S. is that if you're not using it, it's not costing you anything. Um, if you're not paying for insurance either, but then you're kind of like, you're like, walking the danger line where if if uh, if you do happen to need it for an emergency or something, then uh, you can be in a lot of trouble. Whereas in Canada, we pay for it as a cumulative cost over time because we're it's it, you know what it is. Uh, taxation is like the, the f taxation for healthcare in Canada is like the world's largest insurance program because we're just paying for it the same way you would pay an insurance premium, but it comes out of taxes. And because it's dispersed across the entirety of the population, the amount of money they actually have to take is smaller than a smaller insurance company would have to take in order to turn their profit and you know, offset the risk assessment or whatever. $100 tax premium on everyone in Ontario. Uh, yeah, there's that too, yeah. I mean, I get the value out of that though. <laughs> I, I wouldn't have said so when I was like in my 20s, <laughs> but I definitely do now with family. Okay, more chips. 22... Oop, that'll give me the 30. Well, it stands to reason it would be it would be more cost effective, not necessarily more cost e efficient, because I don't. You know, anytime the government's running something, there's inherent in inefficiencies that are going to be baked into the system that are tend to be expensive. But you know, you're cutting out middlemen that have to add in their profit margin. And I think in Canada, the medical system is structured so that um, doctors get flat billing rates for different types of activities and things that they do, different tests and that sort of thing. So it's not like if you go to a doctor there, it's going to cost you X dollar amount versus if you go to that doctor over there for the same thing, it's going to cost you Y dollar amount. Like that doesn't exist, I don't think. It's just like they just bill the government at a fixed rate for whatever activity is being done. All right, Fabricator. Uh, the Fabricator doesn't need power, but I know there's like other stuff we have to pair with it that does require power, but I guess I'll stick it up here. That was weird. My backpack was in front of me. <laughs> okay. It's gonna be kind of a pain going up and down that ladder all the time. I wonder if I should just put a ramp in here. I wish they could make a... I wish we could make staircases that have a bend to them where it goes like up part way and then turns. That'd be nice. Mixed rates for GPs. Yeah, yeah. And they're, I mean, they're busy all the time, so, like, they don't, they don't suffer for money because they're, they just constantly have billable, billable things. There we go. Yeah, that'll, that'll save a little bit of climbing time. It takes up room in the main part of the base, unfortunately, but I think I would prefer that rather than climbing up into that ladder all the time. Okay, uh, I want to make the hunting rifle. Oh, actually, let's check the um, check the tech tree because there's those new things that they added in for like the scanners for like the deep ore things. The cave scanner. There we go. Scanner can locate caves in the surrounding area. Right click to, to toggle audible beeping. Oh, it just beeps. I'm gonna buy it anyway because I'm curious. Uh, I'll make that at some point to try it out. It's for locating cave entrances, but it'd be better if it actually marked it on your map for you so that you have them actually marked. Job Arts is an employee clinic that lets us visit uh, a PA for three dollars when it goes uh, goes for us and not dependents. Oh, that bites. Not like you're almost recovered. Your voice doesn't sound congested. I mean, it depends who you ask. Someone earlier said I sounded congested. <laughs> I am improving though. I haven't uh, I haven't even had to like mute to cough yet tonight, so that's uh, that's an improvement already. The other night when I streamed, I was I was muting like every every couple minutes so I could hack up a lung. And then occasionally forgetting to unmute, because, you know, brains. <laughs> um, carbon spear. Oh, interesting. Never noticed that before. Uh, where is this scanner thing? I thought it was a tier 3 item. 
But I don't see it. Oh, maybe it's just the cave scanner that's tier three. But there should be one for finding ore deposits in the ground too, right? So that you can mine them? Deep mining ore scanner, there it is. Actually, that's not that expensive. In terms of crafting. Compo bow requires composites, that's I'm not in a rush to do that. Ooh, machete. Hacking? Cryptic Fox ASMR. Oh yeah, that's what everyone wants to hear. Somebody coughing up a bunch of lung butter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. Please, sir, may I have another? Oh man, it even takes composites to make a beacon. Like, come on. Directional work lamp. Electric deep mining drill. If you need drilling rice, that runs on electricity. Pair that with a solar panel, but the solar panel takes composites, which sucks. Mega sucks. All right, uh, what's this? Heavy heater, for composter, electric masonry bench, the air conditioner. All right, I guess. Uh, I guess just the deep, the deep mining ore scanner, and then we could use the whatever the biofuel drill or whatever on it. I guess. Lung butter parquet. <laughs> uh, what are we getting a fishing pole? Been waiting forever for that. I don't know. I don't really anticipate them giving us a fishing pole because we can just shoot with them with the arrow or stab them. Like we don't really need to fish them out of the water so much. I need to chop down more tree goodness. I think I need leather. Grab some of that. It's wood in there. What else do I need for this thing? 40 titanium ingots. I don't remember how many I gathered. How much I gathered. Yeah. Item. Ah, 17. Not enough titanium. Well, crap on a cracker. Guess we gotta go get more. It should give us a net that we can passively catch a lot of fish at once. That would be handy. I'd be down for that. Uh, where is that? Sc There's the scanner. I oh, I got enough. No, that's the cave scanner. I don't want that one. Um, the other scanner is it? Oh, the other scanner was tier four, so it's going to be made on this bench. There it is. Deep ore scanner. I need steel screws. I need copper ingots. We need electronics. We need stuff and things. Little things and stuff. Uh, I'll grab that. I'll grab those. Oh, it was like four of these things, right? Up four of those. Then, uh, I don't know. Feeling it, I think it was. There we go. Try out the fancy new scanner. Now we can be real fancy like. Boo, boo. Oh, that's cool. Signal 7%, 6%, so I gather the percentage. Oh, it's nighttime. Uh, I need, um, let's put some coal in the fire or something. We'll light this up so we can sleep. Scanner did work for me in, uh, Spearwalk. Weird, maybe it didn't the current mission. I don't know. It's working for me now. It's pointing it out. So I'm gathering the percentage that indicates how far away the ore deposit is. So if we, uh, if we go this way. 18, 19, 20. I'm going to run straight into a bear, bear while I'm holding onto this thing, probably. It's gonna point me to a cave. That's up top here. Uh, come on. Hey, climb. Ah, I can't climb it. Okay, we gotta go around. 
Because I know there's a cave like right over here. It's gonna like. That's a cave right there. I wish I could tell if it was up on top or if it was inside this cave. I'm gonna check on top and see if it's up there. So it looks like it's up higher. Over an hour and still no bears. Sorry, Rissa, I, I can't make the bears appear. They show up when they want to. Usually when I don't want them to. Point to any deep or in the world, uh, just a struggle because it will point to the closest one. Oh, so it, it, it's almost definitely then pointing to that cave. The fact that it only points to the... yeah. It's still saying... no, 100%. It's like right here. It... So, I wonder if I could, like, mine it from here? Or if I do actually have to go down into the cave. Not that I have the mine ready, any, like the drill ready anyway, but... Yeah, I know you have to drop the drill on it, but I, I'm just wondering if, like... When it says I'm at 100%, does it pay attention to the to the height? Like, if I go down into the cave, will it say I'm at 100% down there also? Ow. You have to see the node? Uh, okay, so it's gotta be in the cave then. Almost certainly. gonna hurt. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Ah, I broke a leg. Boo. 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 Wait a minute, did I? I ran past the entrance or missed it or something. Under a different direction to the arrow changes. I mean, you could do that too, but then it might just point me to another cave that has another node in it. See, like, I have a feeling it'll be in here, like it's pointing to the one in the cave. I swear we emptied this cave already. Man, I hear a bear. Might be Yogi Berra. Ah! Oh, my arrow back. That lit up right there. Oh, it's the node. Found it. <laughs> so it's a gold node in here. I think we found it. Yeah. So it doesn't pay any attention to the altitude, like the the uh, vertical distance away from it. So you could be standing over top and not have access to the node because it's down inside the cave underneath. Wait, torches can go in the lightning slot? They sure can. Doesn't have to be just a lantern. And this cave is cleared out. I did come through here. It just resealed the entrance maybe because they ran an update. Well, I mean, it's mostly cleared out. There's a little bit of iron. I don't really need iron right now. Is that gold or sulfur? I'm assuming it's gold. Because, I don't know. Seemed like gold. 
<laughs> if you click it, the ore type will change? Click what? I'm left clicking and stuff, but I don't see it doing anything. I don't seem to be able to change the ore type. It does nothing. Nothing. The goggles do nothing. Only advanced models. Oh, so the one you can get in uh, the workshop. All right, I got you. No, I mean, it's nice that, it, that it's an option. Okay, now I've started coughing. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> That was mission specific. Oh, I see. No, I, I can't change the ore types. It does nothing. I, I left click, right click, any click doesn't doesn't make a difference. Nothing happens. Got to be a different scanner, which is fine. I mean, I don't super need that. Uh, I mostly made that out of uh, idle curiosity, really. Oh, so we gotta go get more titanium actually, because um, I need that for this thing. I thought I brought screws in here already. Pick some screws. Pick some epoxy. The only thing I need now is the titanium. I don't have enough titanium to make this thing. Gotta go find some more. Smack some titanium rocks. I only got 17 of them. A measly 17. We can check that, uh, the cave. Oh, man, lightning. Uh, we can check the cave that we were already checking out. I'll be able to find some there. Boop, boop. Platinum and gold. About that there cave scanner? Uh, I can make the cave scanner. I haven't crafted it yet, because... It seemed like it was worth it, considering uh, I can already just look at a map and see where the caves are. I need a water pump generator or solar panel, the tools to hook things up. Enough arrows to fight worms for five minutes. Good luck. I just pardon? I'm gonna start my gunpowder production. That's probably not a bad idea. The gunpowder. Uh, where's the gunpowder? Charcoal. Boop. Boop, boop. Go gadget gunpowder. Get that going. I'm gonna go back to the cave, but I'm not really interested in getting hit by a bolt of lightning, so we'll give it a minute. This guy sounds angry just a little bit. Use the force, Luke. Oh, that's the upgrade to it. it so I don't know what actually damages stone structures now. I know they changed it so they can take damage. I would think these lightning storms would be the thing that damages them, but maybe if like lightning actually hits the building. I see your swords. It's as big as mine. Now let's see how you handle it. The cave standard marks them on your map and gives an estimate of how much of what ores that would be worth building. Yeah, for sure it would. Yeah. If all it does is beep to give you the general direction of a cave, eh, we don't really need that. We'll just look it up on a map. No build up with damaged stone roofs? Yeah. 
Hey, David. Yeah, I'm improving. Getting better. A little better all the time. Can't complain anyway. No one will listen. Okay, I gotta go back down here. Some are two handers. Zwei handers? Zwei hander? Ein, zwei? <laughs> Raspberry. <laughs> We've been jammed, sir. Raspberry. Quartz lights get low. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm bad for leaving that thing on. feel better because I gave it to the family. Is that what it is? <laughs> I thought I just recovered. But I mean, that could be it. I am evil and despicable in that way. You're a mean one, Mr. Fox. A dirty, nasty thought. Uh, cover? Uh, copper? Oh, there's an iron in there too. Okay, so this cave, I think I already got the titanium out of. We might have to go find another cave. It seems the only thing left in here is uh, iron. And of course the gold node here that we can mine. There's some copper up there. So that rules that out. People listen to complaining whether they ignore it or not is the difference. Oh, there's that, yeah. <laughs> yes. When's the next getting over it stream? Um, just this side of never. Or is it just the other side of never? I can never remember. It's one of those things. Go check out the cave up here. I think that might be the next closest cave, actually. Uh, there's also one that's across on this side of the water, but it's like way over here. I wonder what's closer. Seems like it might be roughly the same distance. Next stop on the highway to never, that's right. It's on the highway to hell. Waiting for the sequel. <laughs> I mean, I'm aware of there being other, uh, other games that are intentionally frustrating like that. I'm on the fence about it, yeah. Yeah, that's what I am, on the fence. I've definitely not expressed any strong feelings one way or the other. Hey, with the super chat, some money towards some more Baileys you've been, tap <laughs> you've been tapping out. Thanks, David, appreciate that. I did actually run out of Baileys. I think I still have some Kahlua upstairs. I wonder what Kahlua would be like in tea. Uh, will I be fighting the new scorpion boss? At some point I will, but not today. Not in this mission, I don't think. I'm sure we'll get to it eventually. This mission, there are other priorities. Wait, scorpion boss? Yeah, they added a new, uh, a new scorpion boss in... So they added scorpions in the desert, which are apparently a colossal pain in the butt. Uh, and now there's actually a scorpion boss as well. Hopefully it doesn't look like the rock, because that was just really poor CGI. <laughs> just remove the tea from Kalua and tea. Oh yeah, just take it straight. I mean, Kalua is a coffee-based liqueur, so... 
can't be all bad. Uh, I think the cave I want is right down here. Good mission, but it's the one where you kill the scorpion experiments that were left on the planet. Yeah, good old scorpion experiment. So, you've got to wonder, who was the genius that thought scorpion experiments sounded like a good idea, you know? What could possibly go wrong? I need to make another torch, actually. Um... If I get some sulfur, I can make another decent one. Gotta be sulfur along the rock base here somewhere, right? Ooh, sulfur! Where are you? Alright, maybe not. There's some. Crafty, crafty. Trade huge. 150 ish pounds. Italian cheaper. What's this now? When Scorpion and Spider go wrong, Spider Man's there to help. Yeah, well. Kind of left Spider Man on another planet. I don't think he's going to be much use to us here. Alright, we got a backup torch. And a go forward torch. <laughs> Raw this is a science. Whoops. Alright, we got uh, aluminum. Tag my arrows. You wormies. I'm kind of holding on to a lot of my arrows here, and I don't like it very much. Flat! That's what the four-month member message. Is it just me, or the number of electronics required to make a radar just unbelievably insane? Makes Icarus turn into a mining simulator. Yeah, there, pretty much the, all the Tier 4 stuff seems to be kind of crazy priced. Another... Another deep mining ore deposit. This one here, is it? Uh, alright. Now I am curious what that other ore deposit was we found. Maybe it was, like, sulfur instead of gold. There's very little titanium in here. Very, very little titanium. Like, right there. That might be it. That's definitely silver, but they look similar. Yeah, so the one has like these uh, crystalline bits sticking out of the top. I wasn't sure if it was gold or sulfur. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't tell you. I don't know. All right, I got a measly tiny little bit of titanium. That was not worth it. This was not worth the squeeze. Oh wait, there's more. Yes. Yes, tiny titanium, yeah. <laughs> Uh, in order to craft that, you're gonna need some unobtainium. Unobtainium. <laughs> Alright, so I got, uh, 91 titanium. I forget what the conversion rate is for titanium. Is it 4 to 1 or 5 to 1? So I'm not actually sure if I have enough. We'll find out. 
I mean, I had like 17 or something, I think, already, so that, that's almost certainly not enough. All right, we'll go back here. Uh, back to our little... Little chateau. And then we'll hit up the other cave, but we need more titanium. Five to one? Ah, it sucks. So that'll give me like another, what, 18 or so? But I'm still gonna be short. We'll definitely have to hit up that other cave. So much work just to make a blam blam stick. That's a scientific term. <coughs> Chateau, is that French for cardboard box? <laughs> Yes, so uh, as a matter of fact, it is. We should pet a scorpion for you all. I haven't even been in the desert since they added the scorpions. It's been a bit since we played. Seems how we got sick and all. I said out on some Elden Ring too, if I want to play. Grounded, I want to play more of. Data K2, I want to play more of. And Project Zombie, I want to play more of. And... Plus, I think uh, Sons of the Forest comes out in May. <gasps> no! Yes! Perfect timing. Okay, so I think Sons of the Forest, I think it's supposed to come out on like May 20th. If it comes out when, when they originally had planned it to come out. And I think we'll be back from Florida like May 19th. So it's like perfect timing. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. That titanium make it. Make it good. Time's at 1310. We got time to go look for that other cave. So the other cave was somewhere up in up corner G4? In G3, like up here. See what we can see. Sons of the Forest late until October. Oh, well, there's that. All right. <laughs> Have I played Ark? You mean like as in Ark Survival Evolved? Yeah. Definitely have. I mean, keep an eye out. Uh, there's uh, Ark 2 that's supposed to be coming out as well. Not holding my not holding my breath on that coming out on time either. And it will probably be buggy as all get out when it really... Yeah, the furnace is on. It's really slow smelting the titanium. What about Daughters of the Desert? I don't know what that is. I think they made to create a new ecosystem. You couldn't just use animals that are cute and that everyone wants to yeah. Yes. No insects. Nothing that wants to eat you. Bought Ark because you like dinosaurs. I had fun playing Ark, but there was a point where it just I wasn't it wasn't fun anymore. Like uh it, you know what I like about those games is like the the exploration and like I don't know unlocking things, you know, other tiers and things to build and all that kind of stuff. So we got to the point where we were leveled up enough. We had pretty much everything unlocked. We had a whole bunch of dinosaurs and stuff. We had built a base, and the only thing we had to do was like we had, we needed to log in consistently so we could run around and make sure we gathered all the food and things that we needed to keep them all fed so they wouldn't die off. And then it was a chore. And I wasn't really into like PvP in that game, so I didn't uh, I didn't get into that kind of late game PvP sort of entertainment fun. But at that point, it was like, well, I think this game is hit its limit for me. Dads of the Derp, what?
No, that wasn't the right one. There we go. Here, bear again. Aerial shot. Woo! Oh, <laughs> I don't think I shot at me jumping over the uh, bison carcass. Top of the left two is the mega cave with loads of titanium. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'd have to go all the way up there for it. I don't know if that caters to my laziness enough. Somebody's words like whippersnapper, whippersnapper and consarnet, gadzooks and such. Get off my lawn. Not that your interest, but I played over 20 different mods and I can tell you those, uh, they're not good. Oh, you're talking about mods. So yeah, it, there's a personal preference thing for people. Some people like certain things. Certain mods and that sort of thing. Oh god. They tried to bite me. Ah, missed. Tato aimed it. That's so unlike me. Eh. The nice thing is when you, uh, now that they drop these. Venom sack things. After you kill them, you know exactly where they were. Covering arrows a little bit easier. There's another, uh, another deep node. Was that like a silica deep node or something? What is that? Maybe it's silver. Again with the awkwardly placed titanium. Um, all right, I gotta. Uh, I gotta work. Dude, I need to like build a ramp to get to the titanium. It's like way up there. I didn't bring the ramp stuff with me. Man. Oh. Come on. Fast fight, sturdy gaming with the super chat. Hey, hey, buddy, enjoying the stream. Thanks for the super chat. Appreciate that. Glad you're enjoying the stream too. Haha, look at that. I cheated. You don't need no stinking ramps. Ball. <laughs> now that. Whoops. Now that I open my big mouth, I'm almost certainly going to fall. Okay, we got that. Huh. Is there really only one titanium node in here? Or did I do the same thing as I did in the last cave and just like completely overlook it on the way by? Platinum? Copper? One titanium node! Come on! I think it might be enough, but... That's annoying. Okay, I guess we do need another cave, maybe. I hate to come all the way up this way and then not have enough. I could go all the way up to the top of F2, but there again, there's uh, there are some other caves along here. Yeah. 
Let's see, it's right in here at G3 and F3, there's a cave here. Actually, there's a tier 3 cave, like, right up here. That might have more titanium. Try that one out. Coffee has good and bad points regarding health. I'm a, I'm a coffee drinker. I'm a coffee drinker, too. The worst part about coffee is all the things we put in it. <laughs> That's usually what makes it uh, more unhealthy. On a basic level, not that bad for you. It's got some good qualities to it. The caffeine, little antioxidants. Nobody to be on Apex again tonight. Oh god! Oh god! Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, he's following me! Come on, come on, come on, come on! That's what you get. Well, there's the bear you guys were asking for. Good lord. Yeah, no, I, uh... <laughs> I don't tend to stream Apex much, and so I don't... Unless I'm uh, just taking a little bit of my own free time to play it, I don't tend to be on Apex a whole lot, unfortunately. Sometimes I'll pop in periodically during the daytime if I need a break, and I'll play a little bit. It's not so often you'll catch me between, like, 9 and midnight Eastern on Apex. Check my armor. Took a little damage, nothing too bad. My backpack seems to be getting worn down more than anything. Kinda sucks. Good time! What's some good advice? Yeah, that was fun. That was, uh... We didn't, we didn't win a match, I don't think. Or did we? I don't remember if we won one or not. <laughs> but it was, uh, it was fun. Fight the bears with the knife, step to the side and stab. Yeah, I like, uh, I, I like, like, running towards them a bit, letting them go past, and then turning around and shooting them, because... They tend to hit me less. Yeah, look at that, the cave's even open already. Come back my arrow. That. Get back. That arrow broke. Here another one, but I'm not sure where it is. You're on the corner here. This is bear country? Yeah. <laughs> we were trash. Well, I feel like we were playing okay, but then we would just get ganked. I think it was going fine until it wasn't. <laughs> oh. Gotta be on the other side of the rocks here. Oh, can't see. I, think I lost my arrow. I get. It's dark when you drown your torch. Titanium, at least. Uh, you only needed 115 titanium ore. You should have enough since you dropped off 90 and just got. Alright. Well, it can't hurt to have a little bit extra in case I need it for something else, I guess. As long as we're out here, might as well grab it. That glowy blue stuff over there. <laughs> oh, those are just serpent bits. 
Measly little venom sack thing in my bobbers. Oh god. Oh come on. And it still wasn't a lot of titanium in here. Need aluminum for any composites or carbon fiber? I'm not sure whether I'm going to be making any of those. Uh, I have some aluminum back at the base. Maybe I'll bring a little bit more back with me, but in case. Hey, Tegan, how you doing? Smashy smashy. Uh, all right, well, let's take our spoils with us, I guess. We should have enough. Home again, home again. Jiggity jig. All the way back down to here. Give me the old stink eye. I didn't like it. Poppy Easter. Large cave nearby. There's one at like F2 up here. Up here. Passed a bacon. I've already got bacon on me. We've got like 21, 21 bacon on me that I'm gradually eating my way through. Speaking of which, I can uh, eat that for the buff again. I have platinum back at the base, so we should be okay that way. make a rifle torch and you can make other kinds of bacon what kinds of bacon gonna make you like with like dried bacon what's special about the cave worm bow I don't know I think you can I think it shoots poison arrows Aside from that, I'm not sure. Maybe it does more damage. Got Star Citizen, nice. There's crispy bacon in the bio stove. Crispy bacon. Can we make bacon jam? Uh, do they change guns to tier 4? Well, there's, uh, there are some tier 3 guns. I think there's a tier 3 shotgun you can make. Uh, and there's the bolt action rifle. I think you can make it tier 3. <clears throat> but the hunting rifle is tier 4. It's the one I like. Does the most damage. Has a decent fire rate. And unlike the shotgun, you don't have to be, like, right on top of your target to... Get good damage out of it. Oh god, that's gonna hurt like deadly. Oh god, I thought the water was closer. <laughs> oh, I broke a leg. Hey, Prowler. That's a weird way to swim. <laughs> Draw my bow as I swim. Except for the weak bear, yeah, yeah. Wouldn't that be like the perfect time for a bear to attack? That'd be just my luck. Uh, titanium. It wasn't active. Oh my god, because. God. God. Thought it was going already. I don't know why. It's going now though. <laughs> Mr. Grinch with a member message. Four month member message. Feels like you're not dying enough. Well, thanks for the four months of support, Mr. Grinch. Appreciate it. Don't worry, death is coming. 
we got a long journey ahead of us. We got uh, quite a ways to go. And I don't know what kind of things we have to face along the way. So that, that should be interesting. Uh, let's get the gold ore out of here. I don't... Well, you make my... Titanium so slow, man. So slow. We got fatty T-bone steaks. What's it? What kind of buff do we get out of that? Show me some fatty T-bone goodness. It's gonna be the same buff as the the cooked game meat and the cooked stringy meat. Cooked fatty T-bone. 100 stamina, 150 health. Salmon, 150, it looks like it's the same. Plus 20 health regen per minute, plus 5% experience gained. Yep, yeah, it's the same. Well, that bites. Paper bow's worth it. It allows you to make uh, a tier 3 bow recurve at the tier 2 craftsman bench. Oh, nice. Does sound good. Dry some special means. I mean, we can make the drying rack or whatever, but... Where's the drying rack? Uh, can I make it on here? Wood composter... Where do we make the drying rack, anyway? Oh, there it is. Drying rack, wood, sticks, and fiber. Wood, fiber, sticks. Not enough of anything. I grab bones instead of fiber. All right, we gotta go chop a tree. I need wood. Oh, let's make it day ten first. Game doesn't mean more variety of critters though. Yeah, I mean they they're gradually adding stuff in. They they added in uh, scorpions recently. See what else they end up adding. Be interesting to see if they like get some alien type creatures in. Yeah, persistent bases would be nice. I just don't like building up to tier four. Like that's, that's like a big big setback for me. Anytime I gotta build up to tier four, because I know I'm I'm gonna spend most of my time getting up to that tier and then only a little bit of time actually doing the mission, and that's kind of frustrating. <laughs> I ain't no alien. Alright, maybe I am. But only technically. Uh, only lots of wolves in the Arctic area that you go through. No polar bears. Endpoint is in the forest. Okay. Well, I have, uh, I have my bow to deal with the, the wolves. We'll bring the, uh, bring the fancy shooty shoot sheen. Use that if we can run on any bears or anything else bigger. All right, deploy a little drying rack here. Let's see how this does with our fancy fatty T-bone. Dried fatty T-bone. Plus 75 maximum health, plus 25% yield from butchering meat. Minus 25% food consumption. That does not seem like a worthwhile buff at all. 30 health when you eat it. Versus 20 when you consume this. And you get 100 and 150 food instead of 100 food when you eat it. I don't know, like everything I've dried on the drying rack so far just did not seem worth it. Not a buff I'm likely to use. What are we doing here? So at 27? Ah, oh, so frustrating it wasn't going. 
Gosh, why didn't anyone ask if it was running when I left? Jeez. <laughs> Ride stringy meat has a decent buff. I don't know. Like, from what I've seen, like most of the buffs you can get from the drying rack seem like they're not as good as like making some green corn or something, or just just cooking the meat in the fire. What's this mission again? We're uh, we're trying to unlock the uh, the cave worm crafting stuff. Um, so we have to go down to a map location that's like way down here. And then I don't know what we have to do when we're down there. It's something about collecting research. We have to activate the sample analyzer. We've got to go all the way down there to do it, but I don't uh, I don't entirely know what the deal is. Uh, let's work on making some old hats. I need more sulfur. Use the bomb of sulfurs. We take the gunpowder. Bullets out of it. So regular rifle rounds, we can make like 112 of them. Or we can make significantly less of the incendiary rounds. 22 of them. <laughs> I think we'll skip the incendiary rounds this time, but we'll just go with the regular rounds. I feel like 100 is probably enough. Considering I'll also have the bow with the, uh, the flint arrows. Don't think we're gonna need more than 100. Uh, let's get my pickaxe fixed too. Here, this also. Okay, while we're at it, we're also gonna need some stuff for our little travel hut. So, we have a couple foundations going. I'm not making the right rifle rounds. There I am. Aren't I? Rifle round. Oh, shoot. Uh, oh well. Too late. <laughs> These ones are slightly cheaper. I could have made them a little cheaper if I did the, uh, the, the rifle rounds. That's five. That sounded like a hit. No damage. Okay, two foundations. Uh, we need, uh, six wall pieces. Two roof pieces. It's all right. You're right. I uh, I overspent. I could have gotten more out of it, but I don't really care all that much. Yeah, right around times five. Uh, it's uh, it's in the tech tree. Or sorry, talent rather. If you go to combat under firearms, um, cheaper bulk rifle ammo crafting. So, oh no, wait, where is it? Here? Uh, there's one for ammo. That's for reloading. Yeah, cheap bulk, cheap bulk, uh, cheaper bulk rifle ammo crafting. So that gets so you make five rounds for the cost of four, basically. I just all I, did, I just used the wrong one is all. <clears throat> just cost me a little bit extra to make the uh, the ammo I did. Not that big a deal, I guess. Uh, campfire. I'm gonna need to make a uh, an extra bed roll. Campfire. Gonna gather all my supplies in here that we're gonna need for our little journey. Uh, bed roll. Am I lacking? Other than brains. Fiber. Yeah, I don't really feel like making the incendiary rifle rounds. We can only make 22 of them because they're just so much more expensive. I can't make those ones in bulk for a cheaper cost, unfortunately. Just the regular rifle rounds. Is no bueno. Brains and membranes. <laughs> Insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. We get your fiber. Open a door. 
don't need no stinking door. It's just a temporary shelter we're making. We don't need, like, fancy, fancy stuff. Oh, you know, I was... I forgot I wasn't using the right pickaxe. Like, this one. Plus 70... 133% yield. This is... 5% yield. Oh, I guess it was better. I'm gonna put the, um... Put the Shindong pickaxe away. So I don't... If I happen to die, it's better not to have it on me. Right in the butt! Don't need no stinking door. I'm making a permanent shelter, it's just like a uh, temporary type. Oh, there's sulfur right there. Right up Main Street. <laughs> We were just giving him an arrow enema, it's fine. When you die, Fox, when, not if. I don't die every time, I just die frequently. Not the same thing. Come on, titanium. Five more. Five more, and then we're gonna, like, we're gonna blow this popsicle stand. Uh, I'll bring some with me for the wood with me for the fire. We're gonna need fiber for things that are fiber related. What? But something. Uh, and I should probably actually have some wooden ramps on me too. I know I had some. Where did I put those? I had like four wooden ramps and I stuck them somewhere in my infinite wisdom. <laughs> and I don't know where it was. There they are. I could need the building upgrade hammer. Uh the stone one by one for temp shelter. I have a I have a, a two by one instead. Have it built right here already. Oh, it takes so long. You feel my oxygen? I did a little while ago, so it's already pretty close to full. You feel my water, I guess. Hmm, delish. Yeah, I got a little bit left there. I can put some. Just top it up. Top it up. Yeah, earlier in the stream, I decided to fill it up while I was uh, waiting for a storm to end. I just dropped it in there and let it fill up. Take the fabricator with me. What am I going to need the fabricator for? Or like repairing stuff? Don't forget to bring spicy nacho Doritos. <laughs> Sweet chili heat was the kind I, I tend to favor. Sweet chili heat. So good. I don't know if it's even worth bringing this. I'd rather have the ones that give me uh, stamina and... Uh, <clears throat> Stamina and health. Mind you, the cooked meat just gives me plus 75 max health, and this gives me... Uh, actually, minus 25% food consumption. But not really that big a deal. Eh, whatever, we'll bring it. I like dry and a T-bone steak. It's like dry-aged. Make poison bait in the cooking station? Poison bait?
Yeah, for anyone who's uh, who's not used to hanging out with me in streams and stuff, I'm just not very high strung when it comes to gaming. <laughs> There's gonna be many times where I'm gonna do something that's probably gonna make your head spin. Like, oh my god, why can't he just play the game right? Because I don't care enough. I'm looking to min max. I'm gonna have fun. Right, that's just a fancy way to say old cow, pretty much, yeah. Put it in a fridge, leave it uncovered for uh, 30 days or whatever. Kind of starts to rot on the outside. You cut all that away and, and the meat inside is just are intensely flavorful. And there, that should be enough. Think. 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 Yeah! We got gunpowder! Alright. I'm gonna put that in slot two, just in case we need to shoot at things. I should probably load it, because that's probably advisable also. Yeah. Now we got the goods. Okay, I guess we'll head off on our, uh, our big grand adventure. That was it. 11.13, we got time. We got time. I have no idea where we're going to have to travel here exactly, but I'm guessing we'll have to go down here and there's... I think there's an opening here that kind of cuts down this way. We'll hit that up. Uh, we will need more flint arrows. Lord knows I'm going to use a lot of those. Building pieces ready. Bedroll, campfire, and other necessities. We've got ramps, we've got food, the water, we've got oxygen. I think I'm pretty much set. Go! Off to see the wide, wide world and find out what kills us. Fabricator? What am I bringing the fabricator for again? So just to repair my rifle in case I need to? I don't recall really needing to use it all that much. It takes, it takes uh, steel to repair this thing. Need to build several tier four deployables. Oh, really? Oh, that sucks. Do I have to build another base when I get down there just so I can build deployables? That's just deplorable. Wait, does that mean I'm gonna need the concrete furnace as well? Like, what do I need to bring from here? I don't know, see, here's the trouble. You guys have seen the mission before, I haven't. I actually don't know what I need to make when I get down there. So I don't know what materials I need. How's my day? Ah, uh, not bad aside from uh, the whole COVID business. Another 120 electronics, you know what? <laughs> this game can just go bite me. <laughs> yeah. If I'm gonna have to build that much stuff, I'm just gonna, I'll, I'll make the run of more than once. I'll, I'll make a second trip. Forget it. Water pump generator. I See, I don't even know what the water pump generator is. I'm assuming those are two different things. One for the water pump, one for the generator. Is that tier four? I mean, I'm only going, I'm, I thought I was supposed to be just activating some sort of a scanner thing. crap. I really hate building tier 4 things in this game with, like, a passion. It's enough to make me not want to play the game. <laughs> so, we got the biofuel generator and then the electricity tool that we'll need, so I need carbon fiber for that. And carbon fiber needs to be made in that stupid machine that takes, like, a bajillion... You know what? I'm just gonna go down there and let it tell me. 
and then I'm gonna get mad and I'm gonna quit the game. <laughs> right in the eye. Because otherwise, I'm gonna have to spend the next hour of the stream just crafting all the things that I still need before ever even going down there to see what I'm supposed to do. Just on the basis of people telling me I gotta, well, you gotta build a generator, and I gotta build a wiring tool, and I gotta build another thing, water pump. Yeah, do it, rage quit. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a speedy dude. I got, a, I have a couple of buffs that. Um, Give me a nice speed boost. A couple of traits that I took, and then I also have the uh, the module that gives me a speed. That's that's right, Mark. Totally gonna go play getting over it. Yeah, I get it. Generator, water pump, yada yada yada. So basically another like 60 electronics, which is another like three hours worth of mining. <laughs> I'm not gonna worry about it right now. It's gonna go down, we'll trigger the mess the mission so that it updates and gives me all the details. Carbon paste and the mortar and pestle, good luck. Look at that I thought we had to use that one machine to make or is that just for the composites we needed that? Either way, I'll have to get like a whole bunch more electronics. Uh Melt my brain. Okay, so this is the... yeah, this is the way I need. I don't think, just do it. Just do it! Just do it! At least we have decent food buffs. I can run for quite a while and we go pretty quick. there's a point where they actually do add a vehicle into the game. This would be fun to like boot around on a dirt bike or something. 168 hour stream. <laughs> All of it just mining. <laughs> Yeah, we're not we won't get this mission finished tonight. If we have to build all that stuff, that's like hours worth of resource gathering still. In fairness, it's a seven day mission. And we've taken what six hours into it? Seven into it. <laughs> you almost run like a bear's after you. Sure there is one here somewhere. Cover good ground. Making sure the bow still worked. Important quality check, you know. Duck. <laughs> yeah, this uh this valley through here is bear country. trouble is the bears aren't just the bears the bears have their friends the wolves Oop. Agnes. coming right for us hey rifle works Here's Jamboree, so it's Florida. <laughs> if you go out in the woods today, you're of a big surprise.
Need to quality check the 100 rounds you just made. Yeah, we need to check them all. It's important, you know? You never know when you might need that round to fire reliably and it won't because you didn't quality check it. Important. Okay, I have no idea where I'm going in here. Go this way. Hope they make mounts instead of vehicles. Right on the back of a leopard or something. Get rid of that gold debuff. At a buffalo. They'll call me Buffalo Fox. The growling noise? I thought it was spotted there for a second. Every survival game turns into a generic arc eventually. You know what's funny is there were survival games before arc. <gasps> no. True. <laughs> this is why I got COVID while running around in the cold. You don't even catch cold running around in the cold. First time I played Ark was with uh, with Nate, Greg, and a couple of other guys. And uh, as soon as I was able to make the spear and realized I could throw it, I tested right away to see whether you could spear your friends. That was fun. Turns out you can. It doesn't hurt them, but uh, sticks into them. And then they were, he was like running around with this giant spear sticking out of his side. <laughs> Great. Is Ark the one with the giant bugs? Um, there are some giant bugs in that, I think, yeah. Not like rounded kind of giant bugs, but... Dog is barking. 20 after 11 at night, dog's barking. Oh god! We got friends! It does look cold. Welcome to Canada. Oh, my arrow's back, man. Huh. So many poor, poor dead wolves. Almost feel bad if wolves. <laughs> I killed that one with the tip of its tail. How's that work? Okay, we gotta go left. He's <laughs> shock. Yeah, he died from shock. Bared that one. Let's check the crevices for exotics. Yeah, I mostly can't be bothered. Every now and then I'll look in there, but... 
I'm pretty lazy when it comes to the exotics, to be honest. <laughs> it's like, it's supposed to be one of the primary reasons that we're on the planet is to get exotics. But I always, like, skip it. Let's go do the missions kind of thing. For all the Riviera. But the conspiracy theories. Immediately blocked instantly by YouTube. Yeah, no snow leopard attacks yet. We've, I've seen a couple snow leopards, but uh, they were far enough away that they weren't a problem. Get the rabbit shots. Oh, we gotta go through this crevice here, don't we? with me wolves I got a bow <laughs> was a cheek shot What's gonna suck is when I get all the way down there and then have to run all the way back to go craft all those things. <laughs> that was also a cheek shot, just a different cheek. Does the bow have a durability in this game? It does, yeah. If you look at, uh, I have it in spot number three in the the bottom there. That's right here. It, it's got pretty high durability though. So I could take a lot of shots with it before it breaks. Or before it needs repairing. He was sad. We fixed it. <laughs> Level up. Oh, God. Uh, G, drop. Like throwing the bow away when there's like a ton of wolves around. <laughs> yeah, level 50 again. Hooray! Oh, 
Okay, um... I guess this is where... Branches, I can go left or right. I guess we'll go to right. How to kill ferocious wolves dropper bow. That's right. It distracts them. They get super confused. And then when they're when they're confused, you hit them with a hammer. Perfect. Flawless. Ultimate strategy. That's a lot of wolves. Flag too. Oh, it missed. Ah, little bunny. Not to that time. Polar bears live that way. Polar bears? Oh. Oh crap, maybe I do have to go the other way. How do I get around to the, uh, the objective point? I'm in a place where I don't know where I am. If I were to start to play, someone told you to drop some meat and the bears would go after that and leave me alone. I died and lost my food. <laughs> Whoops! Yeah, that didn't work, did it? We're not skidding that one. <laughs> it wasn't even incendiary rounds. This is like a regular bullet. Up there, it's look at it. There's another one. Where the heck is it? <laughs> I hear the growling. Oh, there it is. <laughs> He's peeking. That'll teach you to peek at me. Yeah, as long as we're here, we'll check the crevice for exotics. That'll be a no. Peace. I love that the carcass is just hanging in the in midair up there now.
There we go. <coughs> There's a clip of a snow cat. Nice. <laughs> I should hit the uh I have a clipping button, but I always forget to hit it. Good old foxery. That uh that snow leopard really launched, man. Who knew they were so aerodynamic? Sun's going down. We get out of the snow. Put a link to it in chat. All right, cool. In uh, in Discord, I assume you mean, since uh, I don't think links show up in the green chat. Oh, I didn't see the link. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Thank you. That's me, wolf. This is definitely the farthest we've had to walk for any mission. I feel like we had something similar happen last time. Oh, God. I think we had something similar happen last time. I don't remember what... Uh I don't think it was a leopard, though. It was the mammoth that I shot that went, like, flying off into the distance. That one was fun. Oh, I don't have any of my food buffs. Good lord. there <laughs> it needs to be your name kill the wolf simulator <laughs> when you're going through that one the one section of the arctic area there just there's just so many wolves there's a different arctic region that has like no wolves but it has polar bears mind you there's a lot of wolves in the forest too i guess Ghibli Cougar Boss Extermination Missions, you get access to baits and poison bait. As opposed to just shooting them, you mean? That's why I ran through the desert, less fighting. Well, I didn't really even have to fight all that much, though. I just slapped a few of them with arrows and away we went. They died at one shot, pretty much, every time. Unless they're coming at you and you don't get the headshot anyway.
rolling, rolling, rolling. Am I die from exposure? <laughs> Wouldn't that be a thing? Get killed off by a storm at the end of all this? juice it but I figure you didn't make it this far without a few tricks up your sleeve all right so we have to collect samples from cave worms place scales in the analyzer we need 50 of them we need poison sacks as well uh, connect the analyzer to an active energy network Connect the analyzer to an active water network hence the reason we needed the, uh, the pumps and stuff pumps and power sources and things that's such a nuisance. Alright, so we found an easy pathway down there. That's That wasn't bad. There's a lot of wolves to kill along the way. Uh, we can set up shelter here. It's already 2040, so we'll set up shelter... Uh, I'll set up my shelter here. Sleep it out for the night. We can make it daytime again. Back and make all that other stuff. Daytime. We could also just build a second base down here, I guess. Like, this could be my, uh. I'd have to, like, rebuild, like, literally everything, though. Maybe it would have been worth just bringing the fabricator and then building the rest of the base around it. <laughs> hey, why didn't anyone tell me to bring a fabricator with me? Oh well. There's just so much to build, though. Yeah, I can make that. Big bag with me. I'd still need the bench that's below it in order to make the electronics. Oh, I'm gonna turn this down because it's super. The wind's super noisy. Uh, I'd still need the the bench below it to make the electronics, and I'd still need the um, the cement mixer, and I'd still need. I would need like everything. So I might as well just go back and build the pieces I need and bring those. Then there's no point in like no point at all in. Uh, Building another base down here. At least I got to update the objective so I can see exactly what I need. Not that you guys didn't already tell me, but nobody said anything about having to have scales and poison sacks. Yeah, the wind was super loud. I, 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 I've, I've turned it down. It's still really loud for me. I just turned down the, the game audio for the stream a bit. Even that's really loud, I think. Yeah, but the benches don't cut it, Rabbit. Like, you've got to make the... you got to have the benches and the smelters and the the cement furnace and the cement mixer and... Like, you need, like, everything except for that fabricator bench. So I might as well just run back and build the things and then bring them back down here. Am I going to mine exotics? I don't know if I'm going to bother. Maybe. 
I'd have to build like a whole bunch more supplies though if I'm gonna do that, because then I'd also need the uh the radar and the drill. Benches are heavier than the components that make them though. Fab and machine bench are both forty kilograms, you think? Yeah. Something like that. I mean, I have the Jack Nova. Back through the snow again. Don't need the radar, the nodes are hidden and uh you do need the radar, the nodes are hidden until you scan at least once. Are they? Like if you go to where they actually are, they won't they won't be there until you've actually run a scan? Nine five arrows left. I think we're okay. <laughs> You're worth those exotics, but the experience. So go find the bear and face it. Mano a mano fist fight. <laughs> yeah, right. Put my torch on. Charge me, wolf. We killed so many wolves in the first pass through here. The funny thing is they just pretty much all come back. <laughs> so we get like another another hundred wolf kills on the way back. If you die, where do you spawn? I would spawn all the way back at uh, my main base. That's where I that's where I set my spawn point. But all my items would be down here, wherever my body is. Well, it's like I'm gonna run straight up this rock wall and get you. Ow, you jerk. A boat. Oh, God. Oh, he actually cut me, too. I gotta make a... Make a bandage. Oh, I gotta take the canteen out again, too. That's better. Out of here. You go into a cave uh, and see if there's an unstuck. Yeah, I don't want to cheese it though. You could do that. Jeez. Getting snow leopards. Oh yeah, my backpack is really getting smoked. I need that thing to last. It's got that speed buff and everything on it too. Stop and be able to carry extra things.
Oh boy. More wolves. Careful, the backpack damage. Mine broke in, uh, in a fall and dumped a bunch of stuff on the ground. Oh, that would suck. Yeah, now that they've added environmental damage to things, it's kind of a nuisance, actually. My armor's holding up okay, but that backpack is really getting smoked. Killing machine. <laughs> Been playing some shooting games lately. Pew pew. Why do you do imitation bacon if you can have real bacon? There's something wrong with faking bacon. Just big bald spot with a 31 month member message. Where's the sled when you need one, right? I might even settle for some cross country skis or maybe a snowmobile or something. Maybe a bug. I unequipped your backpack and while we were trying to figure out what happened and got the slots back even after unequipping it. Oh. Weird. But the backpack is more than just the, uh... Just the storage slots. It also gives a, a, a speed boost. As well as, like, some other buffs, too, I think. My arrow's back, man. They're expensive. Right in the eye. The eye? What about a bowl made out of bacon? <laughs> I mean, I, that would be a cool edible food bowl. Bacon. Bacon taco shells. <laughs> oh my god. I've seen people make taco shells out of just like, uh, like melted cheese before, but... Never had a bacon. Sounds like a win. Use a module for five extra uh, suit inventory slots, so backpack isn't that important to me. I usually f use the red backpack anyways. Yeah, I've got the green one on right now. I like the speed boost. So I have, th like, uh, the backpack is giving me plus 5% movement speed. I've got the, um... Mass dam damper module that gives me a 5% movement speed. Then I got a couple talents that give me a movement speed boost as well. So when, when we've got a good amount of stamina just from food buffs, then uh, cover quite a bit of ground. Good for exploration. Bacon wrap bacon. Bacon wrap bacon is like a pig giving itself the, the most wonderful hug. <laughs> you guys are gonna make me hungry, stop it!
Eat it, wolves. Two shots that time. Screwed up my first shot. Bacon wrap chili dogs. Food. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. I'll make it less hungry, Fox. Imagine eating McDonald's like lukewarm filet of fish sandwich there. And now you're like, ugh. Filet of fish. Filet of fish is not a sandwich I would choose to eat ever. You know what's brutal about this is like after we go back and make all those things then we got to make this run all the way back down again complete the mission and then run all the way back to get to the dropship so like no running at all really <laughs> grandparents love those McD fish sandwiches apparently um what is it drink lent or whatever mcdonald's sells like that's they sell 25 percent of the uh filet of fish sandwiches that they sell each year it's during the the time of lent which is only like what six weeks or something Forty days. Pretty close to six weeks. That wasn't even the one I was aiming at. That was the one. Out of the snow again. about a blt oh i could go for a blt blt i didn't really even have dinner tonight i just like my i had pizza pockets or something pillsbury pizza pops that were in the freezer doesn't really qualify as a meal i don't think or even food in some instances Okay, uh, I'm going the wrong way. I need to go up to here. Glad I checked. Eat a pizza lunchable? <laughs> My daughter had that. <laughs> I had to get uh, I had to get a few groceries today because I'm gonna cook a turkey for dinner tomorrow, and. Uh, I grab the kids, uh, Lunchables.
Those pizza pops are wrapped in some sort of edible cloth. <laughs> I've never deep fried a turkey. No, we don't have a uh, we don't have a fryer for that. But we have. Uh, I just do it in the oven. Just roast it. We <laughs> cave. We're almost home. Cave right over there, actually. I can't stop aiming. What's going on there? There we go. There we go. Oh, it's not even aiming. I guess he's just pointing it. You can cook a turkey in a clothes dryer. <laughs> I would not want to try that. That sounds gross. Hamburger Helper, your go-to meal. My mom used to make Hamburger Helper when I was a kid. I haven't had it since I was probably 12. Gonna cook the bird of all evil? Yeah, they don't like turkey. Worried the pets are gonna get our chocolate tonight. <laughs> See them snooping around a little bit. Boom! Eat it, bear! That's what you get! Up north, y'all, Canada, people got burgers and more. It's a place to eat. Uh, I don't know if we do have burgers and more. I don't think so. Not that I've seen, anyway. I don't think. Hold on. A couple of those different, like, fast food chains that... Nope. Nope. Not that I can see. That base is good. I wish you could try it. There's, uh, there's a few different, uh, things I wish we had around here. What are the ones? There's a few burger places I'm always hearing about on TV or, like, well, not TV, but, like, YouTube or Netflix or whatever, like, what is it, like, In-N-Out Burger? We might have In-N-Out Burger. I can't remember if we have that or not. There's a couple of those burger places that I'm, I'm forever hearing people talk about on YouTube. That we don't have around here. I just look out my window. <laughs> I'm in the basement, man. I don't have windows. I googled. Uh oh. Storming. We're not far from our house, at least. Hopefully I won't get blasted by lightning before we get there. Oh, of course, I got poisoned, like, right away. Yeah, we don't have White Castle either, but nobody wants White Castle. That's like cat food on a bun. Gross. We don't have, uh, I don't think we have five guys, so that's one of the ones I've heard about. We have Mr. Beast Burger, but Mr. Beast Burger isn't isn't really like an original thing. They're, they're, he's like using other kitchens in order to like cook and sell the food. Did I leave the door wide open, or is my door missing? Nope, I left it open. I'm smart. <laughs> yeah, well, 
All right, so it's uh, it is midnight. I've got uh, I've got some bunny duty to to take care of. Uh, so I'm gonna call it a wrap for tonight. Obviously, all that work, and I still have more things I have to craft that we got to run all the way back down there with. Uh, so we gotta get our generator. Is there like do you have to make piping for the for the the water pump thing? Where is the water pump anyway? Portable generator, solar panel, look for deep mining drill. Is the water pump tier three or tier four? There's the water pump there. Okay, so I'm gonna need the water pump, the uh, water pipe tool as well. So we got a bunch of stuff to make. I'm gonna need like a whole bunch of carbon and stuff, which sucks. We'll have to craft some of that up. The the next time we play, we'll uh, uh, clearly need to do some more mining and things to get the materials we need for all of that stuff. But uh, yeah, at least we got a fancy gun. And we got all the way down there and back, so there, you know, there's that. <laughs> uh, but thanks everyone for coming to hang out tonight, I really appreciate it. Thank you for the super chats as well. We'll be back for some more games next time. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. And loud, I'll see all of you next time.